Hello everyone, it is Gonzal, and welcome back to our Hardcore Survival series, where last we left off, I revamped the starter house into the starter farmhouse, which, as you can tell from the outside, is looking pretty good, pretty good. I just chopped down the tree here because it was in the way, wanted the space for something later, but there is a small problem with this house, as well as, in the distance we can see, our lovely mining complex. And that is... There is no interior. In fact, the only bit of interior here is actually from when we decided to install our enchanting room. Disregard all the seeds, I just did a bit of farming on the field, so everything has... Uh, been replanted got ourselves a few loaves of bread got plenty of doggos got our lamb uh, not lambs our llamas got our sheeps actually wouldn't a baby sheep be a lamb i think that's how it goes but we have the fields replenishing so food is officially no longer really a uh, concern of ours so we'll just plop these in but what i'm going to do quickly is gather up more materials because we need to actually start getting the rest of the base looking dapper because while the exteriors are looking pretty nice the insides are about as bare bones as a cow skull in the desert so i am going to go gather some stone and maybe some wood and change that also i am quite pleased with the oxidation on the sides it's, it's really adding a bit of flavor to the build that I was really hoping it would give. Also, since a few of you may have noticed, I have changed my uploading schedule. For you see, normally these videos would go out on Monday on the original timetable, but I've decided that in order to try and appease the algorithm gods, I have decided to change up my schedule so you'll be getting videos on Wednesdays and... Saturdays. So hopefully this works out better. Uh, I think it will work out better for me in terms of creativity as well as more consistently accessible content for you all because now videos are much more closer together between uploads. So hopefully this is a change for the better. But if I can continue to make good content and maybe start making another series, uh, I will consider adding a third video. But only if I can get the time and the resources to do so, because I've got a lot of things trying to go through right now, so yay. I need more of this. Well, I certainly didn't just spend an entire day trying to make some interior decorating designs, but I have fully furnished the house. At least, uh, what I believe would be considered fully furnished. Uh, gotta fix that window somehow. Not sure how just yet, but... Look at our house, or our farmhouse. We've got our crafting table, we've got a smoker, furnace, brewing stand, composter for all the extra seeds we get from the farm because I just replenished the farm so we have even more bread. We got the tower here, extra storage space, and then up here we've got extra space. Not sure what I'm gonna put there, and our bedroom. And with a secret closet for extra armor. Kind of like that idea. And then, of course, we have the loft, which, um, yeah, not sure what I'm going to put up here just yet. But now, it is time to go check out the mining base, because I have actually done some decorating in there, too. And we have arrived. I should probably build some sort of system so I can actually get here easier. Uh, ignore these. Uh, we had a visitor... And he graciously decided to donate his llamas. So I'm going to need to bring these fellas back over to the llamas over there. And yeah. But we also have ourselves a nice little workstation here. Got a bench, armorer, anvil. Probably need... I still need to craft a grindstone. Probably do with the grindstone. Got ourselves the... Oh, actually no. You? Oh, that's the... That's the wrong pickaxe. Where's my... My other pickaxe. That is a problem. But now I'm going to put you right 
Uh, huh. Right there. That looks doable. But yeah, we've got our blast furnace system here. Then upstairs we have all of our supplies. We've got our stones. Well, where we're we gonna put our stones? We've got our uh, stalactite uh, drip stones. We've got our gravel, calcite stones, all that jazz. And over here we've got our redstone, coppers, irons, holes, and all that good stuff. And then up here we just have um. Yeah, we just have a little bit of a spawning place. So, that said though, it's time to get some actual work done. So what I have planned for today's episode is I was going to actually start making the mine because we do... Well, uh, words. Well, I was originally going to set up a mine station down here because we need uh, better access to materials rather than just going down that hole down there because I actually think I'm going to make a little bit of a a little bit of an underground village down there. I'm not sure what aesthetic I'm going to go for, but it's definitely going to be something unique. Uh, maybe Dwarven or some other subterranean race. But down here I was going to make a system down to negative 58 I believe is where diamonds are most prevalent these days. But what I actually realized uh hmm Sorry about that, folks. I got distracted by a real-life uh, thing at this second, but I took care of it. But no, what I was trying to say before I was interrupted was I need to set up a portal to the nether because that is the one place we have yet to go to that we still need to because while we do have brewing stands, we do not have actual uh, blaze powder, which we need to power said uh, potions. But with those potions... We can start making golden apples, and with golden apples, we can recruit villagers. And if we can recruit villagers, well, oh, there it is. Well, with that said, we should be going strong. So I'm going to take that as well as that. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of supplies here, not going to lie. So I'm going to take what I can here. And then I'm just going to start preparing myself for a journey into the nether. So don't know where I'm going to put the portal just yet, but I feel like I'm going to make it into like a sort of... Uh... Oh, I saw what spawned over there. Inside we go. Finish this talk later. Of all the things happening, seeing an enderman spawn inside my house was not one of the things I was expecting to see today. Okay, I had completely forgotten I didn't have one of these anymore, so we're going to get one of these. Got ourselves some bread. Let's pop in some bread here. Nope, uh, do that. Make some more bread. Bread. So we got... Ooh, that's actually a lot of bread. Don't have to worry about that. We got ourselves an axe. Got a shield. Got ourselves a flint and steel. Perfect, so now all we have to do is build a nether portal. And I think, honestly, I think the best place to put it would be in this uh, mountainside. So I'm going to clear out a small little compartment. Uh, actually, no, no, I'm going to build it right into the face of it. So right here, just right here. Okay, uh, surfing pig, okay. But with this, we can now portal and, oh dear, I'm actually very, <laughs> I am actually, uh, very, very terrified to go in here. Oh. There's been an Enderman here. But wait, I, I wonder. That actually worked. I was not expecting that, but enough dallying around. Let's see what the nether has to offer because we need blazes and uh, hopefully we're not in too much trouble. Okay. First things first. Where are we? We have spawned... Ooh. Well, we first spawned next to some bones. So we've got bone meal at least. Uh, oh, that is a... Oh. 
Oh, that that is a lot. That is a lot of piglins. Did not realize there'd be that many. Uh, okay. Uh, first things first, let's uh, take a screenshot of where we are because I... Uh, uh, oh. Okay, is there anything here that I have to... Re is there anything in the nether I'm actually needing to remember? Um, I can look at the piglins, uh, just don't attack anyone. Right, okay, so. Eat... Uh... Didn't mean to do that. I I'm just flabbergasted right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Okay. So. Portal. No. Wait. No. Not portal. Fortress. That's right. Need to find a fortress. We can do this. We got a diamond pickaxe. We can do this. So far, my adventures have thus only given me one golden chest plate, which I can use to bypass piglins. Uh, not their brute counterparts, though, so that's going to be another thing to keep in mind. Just need to find myself a fortress, but I know they only spawn in the wastes, but that wastes is a little, um, little underwhelming, just because it seems to be closed off quite a bit. What I could do, though, is take the... Ooh. Do not like soul sand without soul walking, uh... I think, that, I think that's what it's called. Soul walking or soul speed. One of those two. Um, there are Endermen. Forgot they spawn here now. Um, hmm. Definitely. Uh, probably keep the chest plate on. Because that keeps the piglins away, I think. I guess the only thing I could do is maybe just try mining for it and see what I can find. Later on, I'll try and make like a cobblestone deep slate base. Maybe make it into a... Ooh. This looks promising, actually. Oh! Oh! That is... That is exactly what we're looking for. That is perfect. That is actually perfect. Okay. Uh, kind of surprised it's inside a basalt uh, factory, but uh, eh, I guess it works. Ooh. Uh, maybe not have lava-filled stairs. That would probably be a good idea. Oh, wait. I just realized I have to watch out for withers. Oh, well, not wither withers, but uh, wither skeletons. Um... I have any I don't really have any space on me. Let's first uh kinda close off some of the gaps. Ooh. Oh Well, certainly no uh no blazes, but definitely get myself some goodies. And at least replace uh do that at least, yeah. At least we got ourselves some weaponry. Ooh. That's a magma cream. Don't exactly want to deal with that right now, so we're going to go around that and hopefully find something that will work. Oh. Was not prepared. Actually, no, I'm not prepared at all. I don't have any arrows. Ooh. Actually, no, I am prepared. The blaze rod. Shoot. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Let's just put these side by side. Uh, I'm going to be here for a minute. Got a blaze rod so we can start making potions, but uh, we're going to need a lot more potions. And so a lot more blaze rods are going to be needed. So I'm... Yeah. It just comes to my attention that there's a second spawner here. Four blaze rods equals eight blaze powder, which is more than what I was expecting to find, honestly. So we actually have access to another fortress. So as long as I am careful, we can now extract as many as we need. So that is 
That is a big gain on our end. So with that, I think the next step is to fortify our encampment here in the nether. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a safe bet to do. So first things first, let's make the trip home as safe as we can possibly make it. Was not expecting to get that achievement. Uh, wasn't expecting to do that ever. I had a bow. I could have shot them. That would have been so much easier. What? That tells you how much of my brain I'm using today. I'm actually very surprised I was able to find the portal again. Normally I get lost, but I guess I've made a... Pretty much straightforward path. I just go south and then I come north. Easy. Anyways, time to get things rolling. You know, I kind of forgot that he was around here. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to keep a better eye on my things because, yeah, uh, sorry about that, mate. Uh, I'll make you a stable somewhere, but yeah, I'm going to keep a closer eye on you. Ooh. And it's raining. Lovely. But yeah, let's make some blazes into blaze powder. Cool. Let's uh, fill that up and let's just... Uh, Let's sleep through the night, because I'm not prepared to deal with uh, thunderstorms. So I may end up just wasting a bit of blaze powder, but this is definitely going to help out in the future. So I'm just going to mark which direction I need to prepare to go in. South. Okay. So we are going to need to go that way when it comes time to deal with the dragon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep, like, a half stack of pearls at some point, so that's gonna be a lot of blazes. And a lot of netherite. So, we got a lot of, we got a lot ahead of us. But right now, I guess what I should do is... Huh, you know, I think I've actually done all I actually planned for t today. Uh, let me check my notes. Yeah, it seems that that was actually all I had planned for this episode, and I don't want to start a new project just yet, but, uh, yeah. Uh, that's gonna wrap it, wrap it up for today's episode, so, uh, a bit of a shorter one, I'm sure, but, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm just gonna have to wrap it up right here. So next time, I think I'll actually start by first either building up a base in the nether that we can use while we're traveling, or I might actually end up as well building the underground city in that giant chasm we've uh, unearthed underneath the mining complex and actually start making the mining complex itself because we still need to do that. So we have a, quite a few more projects to have in the works. Oh, that's a lot of words. But I do want to genuinely thank each and every one of you for watching. If you've enjoyed and you want more content and it will really help me out if you do, leave a like and a comment down below. That way, the YouTube algorithm will send this out to more people. More people can check it out. And if you're feeling extra generous, hit that subscribe button down below. That way, every time I post a new video, you all will be the first ones to know about it. If you ring the bell notification, because sometimes YouTube does something funny about that. You should probably do something to remind people to do that. So I'll think about that in the next episode. But with that, I generally thank each and every one of you once again. Hope you have a wonderful day and or night. Don't know what time it's for you, so I'm going to assume both. And until then, I must bid you all, I do.